Hey guys, um, I'm not gonna finish up my, I'm gonna finish up the other part of the video and then talk about something else. Bottom line, Kings Coyotes, I'm going for the Coyotes. Case closed. Um, hope they pull it out and it's gonna be a very tough series. That finishes that. I'm gonna talk a little bit. I'm kinda tired, so. I haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. I don't know why I keep down on it. I bed late, but, um, it's about the Kyrie's on the ship. I know why I said my last, not last video, but the video after that, but I was advanced. I said there was a tentative agreement with the NHL and Greg Jameson that the Kings wants to purchase the Kyrie's. You know how huge that is for the city in a state? You have no idea. And you know what pisses me off is the stupid one, the Goldwater Institute. They find a way to get into this propaganda. Jameson's a smart man. I think with Holzheiser, he wanted bonds. And he wanted a certain amount. Um, Jameson has, I think he has more of, um, more investors and buyers who want him. I'm hearing Jeremy Roenick could be part, part of it. And I'm hearing Jerry Colangelo's name. You know what? I've heard on NBC Sports Network after the games when Roenick's doing the announcing with Mike Newberry, whoever he's doing it with, he keeps saying, I live in Scottsdale when the Coyotes are playing. He's like, I live in Scottsdale. It's a great town. I'm not saying that's anything, anything suspicious, but Roenick played for the Coyotes. He also played for the Blackhawks. He also played for the Flyers. He played for a couple other teams. But that team, I believe it was 97 through 99, when they had taken off, I think, or taken in, you had Chuck and Roenick. Happy going. They had a great team, great games. <sighs> um, but the only thing that gets me with this whole management the ownership thing, maybe they should move to the new state a new state. Maybe they should go back to the US Airways Center. I understand it's like a whole new stadium, but it's in downtown Glendale. Nobody ever goes there. It'd be so much easier for fans to go there. You got except for the Cardinals, you got boom. Boom. You were at the Diamondbacks and Chase Field, the Coyotes and the Suns. It's so much easier. It'd be more packed. It'd be more exciting. It'd be, it'd be even crowded. It'd be so loud. It'd be an amazing atmosphere. But you know what? US Airways is old. It's a small stadium. But Johnny Con, I like Johnny Don Con. It's a great stadium. Nothing wrong with Johnny Don Con. I have nothing against them. Um, since. Greg Jameson is going to do one hell of a job and he's going to do the best he fucking can to get this deal done as soon as possible and I think it's going to be done by next week sometime. Um, I'm hearing from rumors from my friends of mine that um, Glendale City Council has already voted yes to the deal. Um, all they need is vote four votes and they already got the four. Uh, two of them was against it, and one and two. Of, it was like two to two, but two of them were leaning towards yes. So I'm hoping to get the done the, the deal done soon. And after that's done, that's a major step to bring the council because then you get the board of governors for the NHL, and I'm sure they're gonna approve it if they can approve if they, if they can approve the St. Louis Blues, they can approve their students Kylie's. Look at this way, Florida. Look how long they they've stayed put in Florida. Los Angeles, look at them. San Jose, before Jameson went there, they were garbage. Look at them. I'm telling you, Jameson, you talk right now, what we're, what the Coyotes are doing now, for three years in a row, and if Jameson comes, Jameson comes in here, we're going to be all the time. And everybody, every person, we can have more fan base. It won't just be, it won't just be Detroit fans or Pittsburgh fans or even Philadelphia fans like myself. Or Chicago fans, Vancouver fans. Oh my God! Don't even start with Vancouver. Um, no. 
they'll get more fan base because it, I agree with everybody saying why would I want to buy tickets and not see the team play if we don't even have an owner. That's the problem. You need an owner. You can't just let the NHL control it. We're such a great team and I'm hoping this deal gets done very soon because when it does, this whole the Kyrie fan base is gonna go outrageous. Hold on a second. This team, this book, I got it in your book. This team is phenomenal. And the one player that's been on this team the longest that deserves for this team to have the success and have them stay here and not leave the state of Arizona. Shane Dunn. Sorry to delay. It's Shane. The captain of the Phoenix Coyotes. He's phenomenal. He's been playing very well this series in the postseason Stanley Cup. I'm so proud of this team. You have no idea. I'm, I was proud of the Flyers, but this team I pay attention to I went to a lot of games, and man, they have something special here. Right now, it's special. Enjoy the moment, guys, because who knows when it's going to happen again. I hope it happens. I hope it happens every year. We live in postseason. We get the excitement. But we got far. We're getting far. I'm cutting the video down, guys. Like I said, it looks close. I think the deal will be done sometime next week or the week after with Glendale. And then the board of governors, and then we'll work out. They'll work out everything else. Um, I know they want to get the deal done before the summer, probably when either the Coyote season ends, or in the beginning, or in a couple weeks, in May, or even in early June before the Cup finals end. That's my prediction. Peace, guys. Go Coyotes and. Go Flyers, even though they're out. Go, but go Coyotes. Underdogs all the way.